Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. This video will demonstrate how to run control M data collectors, otherwise known as health check utilities in a batch job. A reason you may need to run control M health check utilities as a batch job, you need to collect diagnostic information during non-business hours, and you like to capture as much data as possible for analysis by Control M support team. You can create a workflow that enables debug to capture the problem, disables debug, and then runs the data collector. I'm going to show you how to run these utilities for the Control M agent, Control M server, and Enterprise Manager server. In my environment, I have a full Linux control M installation on one physical system. The commands will run the same on Windows OS. Here, I'm logged into the control M enterprise manager client, and I have three different job definitions. The agent HCU, the control M server HCU, and the EM server HCU. The Enterprise Manager Server and Control M Server's Health Check Utility have similar syntax. That's because they communicate with their own database. The Control M Agent's Health Check Utility doesn't communicate with a database. In my example, so in my example, I'm using the EM data, I'm sorry, the EM underscore data underscore collector, which I'm providing. The database owner object username, the full path of the password file, and this is an optional parameter if you like to mask the HCU utility password and job definitions, the out parameter, and that's just to give us an option to redirect the logs to a different location on the file system, and the batch parameter. Now, this is a very important parameter. Without it, the HCU utility will continually run in the background, eventually filling up the file system, causing Control M to crash. Please check out our Control M utilities guide for more info on the HCU commands and its parameters. Now, before I order these jobs, I'm going to switch over to my Linux environment. I want to point out a few items. Number one, if you want to use a password file, I'm going to show you the syntax. And number two, in order to run a utilities in batch mode, you have to edit a config.ini file. This is only needed for the enterprise manager servers EM underscore data underscore collector and the control M agents CTMA underscore data underscore collector utilities. Okay, here I'm logged into the EM server account and I'm in the home directory of the EM user, and I navigated to ctm underscore em and into the ini directory. The file that we need to look at, I'll show you, is config.ini, and this path is the same as within Windows as well. What we're concerned is, and I've already set this uh, beforehand is the batch underscore mode. Uh, by default, it's set to N or no, but we need to set it to Y for yes. That's uh, This is so that the EM server, when you want to run in batch mode, it will understand that parameter that we talked about before, the dash batch file I'm using. This is an optional parameter if you like to mask the HCU utility passwords and the jobs definitions. So here you'll see my current uh, working directory with the path of uh, EM underscore auth uh, that you saw in the job definition. Within that directory, we see the file EM underscore user dot out. And when I open that file, I'm running a cat command to show the inside of the file. You'll see the format DBO equal and then the password. Here the password is I love control M. So now I'm going to switch back to my EM client and run the job definition. So now I'm going to order this job. And the job has been submitted as mentioned just to show you the command for a control for the ctms underscore data underscore collector 
uh, the same syntax concept and as we saw earlier with the agent while that job is running I do want to point out that for the agent as I stated before you needed to modify the config that I and I and just to show you the path of that uh, file is in the data directory of where the agent is installed and we talked about making sure the batch underscore mode is set to yes so I just want to make sure I show you that now going back to the uh, enterprise manager client I go to the monitoring domain and as we can see this job is still executing and as we refresh the job will show completed the job is now completed and we'll scroll down and we see that it's been redirected to the uh, data directory that we wanted to collect the log files for. This concludes our Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you.